contains 1017 hymns or 10,522 verses arranged in 10 books or mandalas. So we are specifically going into little more into the depth of what is this Rig Veda, how is the construction of the Rig Veda. So Rig Veda means the Veda of praise, contains 1017 hymns or 10,522 verses. Why hymns? We have said that how this Vedas are for, uh, uh, made. So earlier there was no, none of these Vedas were existing, only hymns were existing. And who composed them? That is uh, in time immemorial, those sages, those peers, persons who are the uh, sannyasins and rishis and uh, those people who spend their time in deep meditation and what they got as revelation or enlightenment, they composed into hymns. So in the beginning they were only orally transmitted to the disciples or those people whom they were connected with, a group of people. There was an oral transmission what was done for centuries. <clears throat> That's the reason why we say that there was a huge collection of these hymns into I mean, so many branches were there. That is uh, 21 lakhs or 21 crores, 109 lakhs, and 1050 branches, and each consisting of uh, 100,000 verses. But those such a huge collection or such a huge number is no more we have. We don't have any access to that, they are not existing, it is not there. So it's only the uh, more or less the calculation of that. What we have at present is altogether 20,023 and some say 20,379 verses in total from all the four Vedas. So, so much being lost. Now we look into the arrangement or how much each of these four Vedas are having. First one we deal about is the Rig Veda, the Veda of Praise, which contains uh, 1017 hymns. So the hymns were categorized and they were codified and put into uh, each of the sections so that uh, they applied certain uh, rules regarding how the classification and all the hymns what they could collect they classified into four. So thus we have the four Vedas. That is how the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda, Adharva Veda. And that's how the composition of Vedas has taken place. Now, in the Rig Veda itself, how many hymns are included? That is the 1017 or 10,522 verses. Arranged in uh, 10 books or mandalas. The first eight mostly contain hymns of praise to the various demigods such as Indra, Agni. The ninth book deals primarily with the Soma ritual, which was the extraction and the purification of the juice of the Soma herb. The tenth book contained the Sukta or the verses of wisdom and mantras that would cause certain magical effects to take place. So the composition of the Rig Veda. The first, <coughs> uh, the first eight mostly contain hymns of praise to the various demigods, especially to Indra and Akni. So they are the demigods, to them the hymns of praise are addressed. The ninth book deals primarily with the Soma ritual, which was the extraction and purification of the juice of the Soma herb. The tenth book contains the suktas or verses of wisdom and mantras that would cause certain magical effects to take place. So that is the composition of the Rig Veda. The Rig Veda hymns were mainly of praise to God that were invoking, invoked during the Vedic ceremonies for ensuring immediate material needs. 
so what are these uh, hymns uh, hymns in praise of certain demi gods so first eight books are mainly that the dominant gods were that of of indra and agni <coughs> so the rigveda hymns were mainly praises of gods that were invoked during a ritual or vedic ceremonies for ensuring immediate material needs these were chanted by four priests who conducted the vedic rituals so there are prescriptions in the vedas who has to do that which part of the sacrifice so the roles are assigned to and there is a priest that brahmin priest who oversees all this the ritual uh, sacri- sacrifice so these were chanted by four priests who conducted vedic rituals namely the hota who calls the gods with the mantras from the rig veda the advaryu who performs the rituals of the ceremony called the yajur veda then the utkada who sings uh, the sa utkada sings uh, the samaveda mantras and the brahmana or brahmin priest who supervises the general ceremony so we can see the specified roles being assigned to different people in the performance of sacrifice what the vedas prescribe is the uh, ritualistic performance or the uh, what said the prescribed form of the performance without any mistake so exactly how it has to be which uh, sloga has to be sung and in which way it is to be sung everything is prescribed therefore it was usually only the brahmana brahmin priest who could sh- ensure the chanting of mantras accurately produce the desired effect so in a, in a stipulated way it has to be performed not any way that you like so that was the prescription that is given if the mantras was chanted incorrectly by someone who was not qualified the desired result would not take place and often something undesirable or horrible would happen instead so that was the attached to the ritualistic performance of the sacrifice so every ritual had different persons are assigned and what part to be performed and they have to perform in the very strict way without making any mistake if the slogas are chanted wrongly and by a no, by an unqualified person then the desired effect would not happen and also there was a danger of getting a reverse or adverse effect of that the main gods in rig veda were indra the god of heaven and rain then agni the fire god and surya the sun god surya is invoked in the sacred gayatri mantra however surya is also called surya narayana in the rig veda some hymns to surya and his different forms can also be related to narayana or vishnu especially those to savithur vishnu is also known as the pervader meaning that all the vedic gods are absorbed in him so the understanding is the brahma vishnu shiva that is the trimurtis in the hinduism so one is the god of the god the creator god the pre- uh, preserver and the god the destroyer so three aspects but then one god that's the understanding of all performing the one as unity of this three so all the vedic gods are absorbed in him and thus must also emanate from him that is the under- understanding of uh, vishnu that is uh, the different forms so vishnu is also known as the pervader meaning that the vedic gods are absorbed in him and thus most and also emanate from him they would be absorbed in him during the time of cosmic annihilation but would also emanate from him during the time of creation there were also verses to the three other names and the forms of the sun god namely savitri maitra and pushan 
other gods included Doyas, you know, celestial god. So different names and interpretations are given here in the Rig Veda. Mainly the dominant ones are that of the god of that is Indra, Akni and Surya. Indra, Akni and Surya, these are the uh, main three gods that is mentioned in the uh, Rig Veda. Varuna, the god of seas. Soma, Marut, god of the wind and called Vayu in other place. Rudra, a form of Shiva and Vishnu. All these gods are the celestial gods or the demigods except Rudra and Vishnu. There is also an important uh, Purusha Sukta hymn, the 90th chapter of the Rig Veda, the 10th mandala, Purusha Sukta. So, which is uh, referring to this uh, Rudra, that, that's a main god. So, what we are trying to see is that the uh, composition or the very uh, composition of uh, uh, Rig Veda, a little in detail how it is composed, what are the main aspects mentioned there. The Rig Veda is also a mystical text that contains knowledge in its abstract imagery of what the seers had realized. It has information on yoga, the spinal current and the chakras, as well as the planets and their orbits. Many aspects of this Mystical knowledge, knowledge are also contained in the other Vedas. The Rig Veda is said to have had 21 branches out of which only two are still available. So practically 19 are lost. The 21 branches, only two are available. Much of the uh, Shakal branch is still available along with the Brahmana and Aranyaka of the Shakyan branch. Although there are some stories in the Rig Veda, there are few historical records of the early Vedic kings. This has been a mistake amongst various linguists and researchers who study Rig Veda to try to get a historical understanding of the early Vedic kingdom and the Aryans. So what is shown here is that what is the real composition of the Rig Veda, what it is containing, what is it uh, aiming at. So there are uh, so many hymns or suktas are contained in that and mainly it is addressed to the gods. The important ones are that is of the Indra, then Akni and Surya gods. All other gods are the demigods, the subsequent or uh, uh, lower ones. These are the main ones were that of the Indra, Agni and Surya. Then in the Rig Veda we also find contain the mystical texts of knowledge referring to the abstract imagery and the seers what they had realized in this. And it has an information on different branches of this. Uh, what is mentioned in the uh, Vedas, the yoga, the spinal current of the chakras and the planets and orbits. So there is a specific amount of knowledge that is available in the Rig Veda regarding the universe. Then we go to the Yajur Veda. So from Rig Veda, that's composition we have seen. The Yajur Veda means Veda of rituals. One is Veda of praise, the Rig Veda is Veda of praise, praises to God and goddesses. Then Yajur Veda is the Veda of the rituals and it contains 1975 verses, verse, uh, verse mantras in 40 chapters, many of which are similar to those of the Rig Veda and used in rituals usually by the Advaryu priest. These contain different levels of knowledge and wisdom. So each of the Vedas will also give us certain amount of knowledge and wisdom. The Yajur Veda one uh, once had 109 branches of knowledge, but now only parts of seven branches are found. In Rig Veda we have we had 21, but only two are available. And in the Yajur Veda there were 109 branches of knowledge, but now only seven branches are found, of which the 
uh, Vajna Sanini is prominent. The Yajurveda, however, has two Samhidas or collection of verses known as White Yajurveda, that is <coughs> Vajasani Samhida, and the hymns and the rituals, and the Black Yajurveda, Taitriya Samhida, with their interpretations. <coughs> These were primarily for the priest to use as guide in performing sacred rituals such as the Ashwamedha or Rajas, uh, Rajasuya, since they also contain directions or formulas that the priests use along with the verses that are sung during the ceremony. So, Yajur Veda is telling about the uh, Veda of rituals. So, one is the Veda of praise, that is Rig Veda. Then the Yajur Veda, Veda of rituals, which contains 1975 verse mantras in 40 chapters. Uh, many of which are similar to those in the Rig Veda and used in rituals usually by the priest. These contain different levels of knowledge and wisdom. So that's where we need to uh, pay a little more attention that some verses are uh, used for, they give the levels of knowledge and wisdom. The Yajur Veda once had 109 branches of knowledge but now only parts of it. seven branches are found. <coughs> uh, this, in this Yajur Veda there are two divisions. One is white Yajur Veda and black Yajur Veda with the hymns and rituals which are used at the sacrifices. Then we come to that is uh, the Yajur Veda. The Sam Veda is the Veda of melodies. Psalm, singing. Psalm Veda, uh, it's a Veda of melodies contain 1549 verses meant to be used as songs in various ceremonies, primarily uh, for the Udgada priest. Most of them are taken from the Rig Veda and arranged according to the use as utilized in particular rituals. From the original 1000 branches of the Samaveda, three are still available, of which the Kautmiya and Jaiminiya are prominent. So, to name two of them. So, what has happened to all these uh, different Vedas? So much were there, but that is not the lost. Practically, much of it is lost. So what we have from this uh, 1000 branches of uh, Samaveda, what is available now, only three are still available, of which Kautamiya and Jaiminiya are prominent, two branches of uh, this uh, Samaveda. From here we go to the last one, that is Atharva Veda, which is the Veda of chants, Atharva Veda. <coughs> Atharva Veda is the Veda of chants and once had 50 branches of which we have only Shaunak, Shaunak branch today. It is a book of uh, 5977 verses in 20 chapters containing prayers, spells, incarnations, incantations which are some respect resemble the magical prayer spells, the magical instructions found in the tantras and even various magical incantations are found in uh, different part of the world. The Atharva Veda contains a small section of verses of instruction, wisdom, description of the soul and God. But the majority of it consists of the rules for worshipping planets rules for uh, oblations and sacrifices, prayers for averting evil and diseases, incantations for destruction of force, for fulfilling personal desires, etc. Mostly for the material needs of the people. So, Atharva Veda. So, which 
uh, we can say that other three there are so much of similarities there yajurveda samaveda uh, rigveda yajurveda samaveda so many things are in common but atharva veda is slightly or different from those other three so all together we have four including atharva veda atharva veda contains small section of verses of instruction wisdom description of the soul and god but the majority of it consists of rules for worshiping the planets rules for oblations and sacrifices prayers for averting evil and diseases incantations for the destruction of foes for fulfilling personal desires etc mostly for the material needs of the people so these are the aspects which we find in uh, these are four vedas so four vedas are that that of the that is rigveda yajurveda samaveda atharva veda and these four how they are composed what are or how many verses are there as we have said in the beginning what was what was existing was only the hints that also in the oral tradition oral form it was not written down much later it was written down so that there was something to hold on by the time it came to the writing period already so much was lost and even after these were written down then also it went for centuries and meanwhile so many things from what was written also got lost so finally at the time of the compilation or collecting of all together the existing hymns and putting them or according to the uh, formula applied or certain norms were applied and accordingly we have the four vedas consisting of four consisting of four parts samhitas that's a hymns then brahmanas the rituals aranyagas the theology and upanishad the philosophical teaching so there are four aspects or the four parts are included in each vedas and what we have seen now is taking each of them what is rigveda how many hymns are there or how many verses are there what are they meant for rigveda is uh, that is the veda of praise then we have the yajur veda that is the uh, the veda of rituals sama veda the veda of uh, song singing or chants then we have the atharva veda that is of uh, many other practices which are performed so in natural we can say that vedas are the oldest written text in our planet today they date back to the beginning of the indian civilization and are earliest records of the whole aryan race they are supposed to have been passed through oral tradition over 100000 years they came to in the written form between 4 Uh, to 6000 years ago so ancient is the origin so the vedas are divided into four then uh, this uh, so each of the group has uh, original text that is mantra and the commentary portion of the brahmana and the brahmana again has two portions one interpreting the ritual and the other the philosophy the portions interpreting the philosophy of the text constitute the upanishad <coughs> this uh, there are also auxiliary texts called ved vedangas vedic literature refers to the whole vast group of literature <coughs> the whole of rigveda and most of the other veda also forms of poetry hymns and deity uh, deities and elements then samaveda is the verses that are to be sung and yajurveda is largely the short prose passages both samaveda and yajurveda are concerned with rituals rather than philosophy and the uh, teaching 